Hi everyone, I hope you've been well. I know it's been quite some time since I've done a video, but I just got extremely busy with everything, but I am hopefully going to be a little bit more consistent going forward. So I want to jump on here today to do, I guess, a update in terms of how my Prada pouch has been doing over the past year. Uh, I'm going to call this a yearly update, but I've actually had it for a little bit longer. I got it about around summertime, I think in August of last year. So it's been over a year, but uh, I thought anyways, I'd just show if there was any major wear and tear and that sort of thing. Um, and just, I guess, a general update. So I have my bag right here. And if you are wondering where I've gotten all the straps, the O-rings, I'm also, I also do have an insert in this bag. I will link the video that I did on how to turn this pouch into a bag down in the description box. Uh, so check that out if you are interested. But otherwise, um, this is kind of how it looks like. So it's been faring really well. And to be honest, this is probably one of my most used bags. Uh, that I've been wearing for the past year um, and a little bit over a year. So this has just been really great to me. It's just really carefree, um, really functional to me. It matches a lot of things. And yeah, it's just been fantastic. A really quick update in terms of the straps. So I did actually make another order when I was ordering a, a strap for the Burberry pouch. And so in the meantime, I also purchased an updated strap for this pouch. Um, because the previous time, or the first time that I ordered the strap, I forgot and didn't really think about shortening the strap, and I just felt that it was a little bit too long for me. So when I made the order for the strap for the Burberry pouch, I went ahead and ordered the exact same strap again for this Prada one, except that I took 15 centimeters off. So total length is 105 centimeters for this one. But otherwise, the pouch itself is, is really great. I'd say um, there's no wear or anything on the corners, um, and I put this on the ground. I've just, you know, kind of not tossed it around, but I haven't babied it at all. Um, I'd say the most wear is honestly because it cinches in. It's probably, it has kind of, it's wrinkly at the top, I would say is honestly the most wear. Um, even on this one in particular, because it is a drawstring. So if you just look at that, it is a drawstring. Even that rubbing action, there is zero wear to the nylon so it's just been fantastic uh in terms of the look of it overall as you can see it kind of is denting in there but it's probably because i don't overstuff this bag if i stuffed it a little bit more i think that would kind of solve but it's just because of the weight i believe it's because of the weight of this plaque right here that it's kind of indenting it like that but to me that doesn't bother me and otherwise and this is more of my issue or my fault it's not like a general wear and tear is i did get a rather large scratch on the uh prada logo right here but i accidentally just i think slammed it into something and so there's a scratch there but it's really not too noticeable unless you go close up to it but yeah otherwise i currently have my stuff in it so it does have stuff in there in terms of the straps there hasn't been any wear and tear to them either. Of course, this one um, I haven't been using for over a year because I did get this when I um, was purchasing the straps for the Burberry pouch. But otherwise, in terms of the O-ring and the short handle, I haven't seen anywhere. There's no cracking on the glazing or anything. There's no major scratches on the hardware. There's no like chipping or tarnishing or anything. So other than that, I think it's fantastic. But yeah, I think this is a fantastic option though if you do get all the different pieces to really just utilize this and turn this into a bag. And I personally love the look of this one. I think everything goes together really well. And it's about the same size, I'm pretty sure, as their actual nylon bucket pouches, like the crossbody ones. So yeah, I think still a great savings even at the new higher price of $650. But yeah, other than that, let me know if you have any questions about this. And of course, I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.